It kind of looks like Rockstar just kind of told us what we might be getting for the next Red Dead Online update, which is most likely going to come in December. And I'm not sure a lot of people are going to be overly thrilled with this, but here it is anyway. But first I want to quickly go over this week's Red Dead Online tunable update. We got some limited time clothing that have finally returned. They also give us a free Doc Holiday inspired outfit which we can make ourselves in the game. We got some bonuses to help us make some cash and some other discounts as well. So first let's have a quick look at the returning limited time items. If you're a male character you can get the Tasman outfit and for female characters you can get the Danube outfit. You can also get the fan stockpipe hat as well as the raccoon hat. The pelt half traps are also available and the furred gloves. I covered all the colorways in an earlier video so if you'd like to see that I'll leave a link here as well as in the description. That video also covered all of the free items we got for both male and female characters from Rockstar which actually turned out is actually how you make a Doc Holiday inspired outfit. This outfit was actually created by the Man vs History YouTube channel and Rockstar gave him a little shout out as well which was cool. If you want to create the stock holiday inspired outfit this week for free, you can get the black bowler hat, the worsen coat, black or grey, or the Hartwell autumn jacket. The Anton jacket black is also available for free, as well as the frumpy shirt white and the Inista shirt waist. The paisley vest is also available for free, as well as the folded string tie, the clerk pants and the buckskin pants, and the stovepipe square toe boots. I think this is actually a really cool idea and has definitely shown a little bit more creativity in how they are doing these weekly updates. Discount wise there is 40% off the all American horse breeds, you can also get 30% off the deluxe campfires, the fast travel post, the camp teams and the camp dogs. You can get 40% off all holsters over at the gunsmith as well as 40% off pistols and 40% off all pants and skirts over at the tailor. Bonuses wise you can make double the cash and XP on shootouts and team shootout modes and anyone who can do the Covington Emerald will get 5 gold bars off the bounty hunter licenses, collector roll bag, butcher table or the naturalist sample kit or the moonshine shack. This is obviously great if you don't own any of these but most of us do but thankfully Rockstar will give you a free roll outfit, accessory or remote if you already own all of those items. There's also a 50% bonus on the tough business telegram missions i wish that had increased the gold as well but it doesn't it's just on cash there's also a 50 percent cash bonus on this week's uh, call to arms mission which is based in valentine and there will also be a 50 percent bonus on next week's call to arms mission which will be based in blackwater and the next boost is where things get really interesting and i want to make sure to read this word for word because if i'm misreading this i really want it to be clear so what they say is, also look for Capitale boost across all blood money contract missions until November 29th. Small and large chests along with criminals will have increased Capitale rewards to help you prepare for more opportunities. So there you can see to help you prepare for more opportunities. To me, that is seriously sounding like we are going to get more blood money opportunities for the December update. Now maybe this is just poorly written and what they kind of meant was that you can just earn Capitale so you can do more of the three um, blood money opportunities that we already have. But it does say more opportunities so in my eyes that really does seem like we could be getting more blood money opportunities missions. Which I don't know if they went down overly well the last time. A lot of people just thought they were glorified. Um, telegram missions to be quite frank i did enjoy them when i first played them but after that i i haven't really played them since i mean the pay is kind of normal i mean there's nothing big about it they pay the same as like a legendary bounty or something and like they are kind of frustrating especially in the higher levels because the ai is just really badly programmed and like there is a few different ways you can do something but it always just ends up in a shootout for the most part like now there definitely was a lot of potential in the missions, I would like to have seen them like a little bit more integrate and be just well thought out with terms of having better AI and things but they definitely should be paying a lot more. I always recommend that people just play them on the standard level because you don't earn more gold the harder the level because that's just locked to the same on all three uh, levels of it but you do earn a little bit more cash and a little bit more XP but it's just it's not worth the buggy AI and it's not worth the uh 
It's just not worth it in my opinion, so I always play it on standard. And it also costs an extra 10 capitali to play it on the harder level. It's like, and you just don't get enough benefit back for doing it. Maybe some new blood money opportunities could be kind of cool, especially if they address those issues with the AI, as well as making the payouts better and more eventful for doing them. But in reality, I think they'll just be kind of very similar to what we've already gotten. And a lot of people weren't too impressed with them, so... I could see a lot of people just reading an update announcement that there's new blood money opportunities and go, eh, I'll pass. Like, and not even trying them. So, like, part of me is kind of hoping I'm misreading this and when they say, help you prepare for more opportunities, what they really mean is so you can replay the existing ones and don't worry, we're going to have a big, big update coming in December with a new role or new properties or something, not just more of the same kind of stuff that we've already seen. Like, I'll still enjoy playing these, but there's part of me that kind of looks at this from the perspective of the community and, like, how the game is going. I already made a video on, like, is Red Dead Online dying and what is the future of Red Dead Online? And it honestly wasn't, in my opinion, looking that good. Look, I'll leave a link to that video as well if you want to see that. I put a lot of effort into it. And I honestly just don't think the community really liked the overall structure of the blood money opportunity so unless they drastically improve that like i don't think it's gonna be a very good update at all i also put up a video recently enough that showed a few of the clothing item variants that we already got that they haven't released yet which i think we're gonna see in the next uh, couple of weeks and honestly if if we do just get like some clothing variants that's already in the game plus some rejigged like telegram missions that are now blood money opportunities i just don't think it's going to bode too well for the game i mean there was a lot of pressure for them to get the blood money update right and like i liked the update but a lot of people didn't so i don't think they got it right and for a lot of people that are still with the game they wanted a very strong december update and look, if it's just more of the same, I see a lot of disappointed people. But look, let me know, what do you think? I mean, am I misreading this? What do you think? Do you think this paragraph that they announced on the Newswire actually means we're going to get more Blood Money Opportunity missions? Or do they just mean replay it with ones that we already have? And if they are dropping more Blood Money Opportunity missions, are, does that excite you? And if so, what about it would you like to see improve because there's definitely room for improvement with those missions personally as i said earlier i think they need to pay a hell of a lot more and they need to work more kind of like the way the heists work in gta online to be a lot more integrated and to actually function as it's meant to function you should be able to do them via stealth and you should be able to do them just guns blazing and things like that and the ai should respond accurately but i really want to know what you think of this so please let me know in the comments massive thanks to everyone who does support this channel it really does mean a lot to me uh, especially the members of the channel you guys are amazing look forward to reading your comments people and i'll catch you later